Graham. Thank you, Dr. Biden, and thanks, Martin. Uh, my mother's 96 years old, and I called her to tell her that the show had been invited to the White House. She said, oh, God, don't give those people any trouble. They've done enough. <laughs> I don't know exactly what kind of trouble my mother was imagining I might give the administration, but I agree with her. <laughs> I'd like to introduce just a few of the people who were able to be here today, beginning with Thomas Schlamme. Uh, <laughs> Tommy, along with John Wells and myself, was an executive producer of the show, and as our principal director, Tommy was responsible for the look of the entire series, as well as being perhaps uh, the one indispensable, irreplaceable member of our team. We had a room full of very talented writers like Eli Addy, who used to work in this building. If you have a favorite moment from the show, chances are Eli had something to do with it. They, along with political professionals like Marlon Fitzwater, Peggy Noonan, Dee Dee Myers, Gene Sperling, and Lawrence O'Donnell, would pitch ideas and passionately argue the dramatic and emotional potential of stories about the census. Our cast will live on as one of the best in the history of television. Richard Schiff is here. Along with Janelle Maloney and Dulé Hill. Melissa Fitzgerald, Mary McCormick, Emily Proctor. Of course, Martin Sheen. Uh, Brad Whitford, Rob Lowe, and Alice and Jenny are all on set today, and we're not, unable to make it. The rest of us are apparently unemployed. Not yet. <laughs> My assistant of 24 years, Lauren Lohman, is here. And so is my daughter, Roxy. Uh, Dr. Biden, your husband, was Roxy's first vote. And now I imagine she'll expect to be invited to the White House by every president she votes for. <laughs> Finally, I'd also like to acknowledge Channing Dungy and everyone from Warner Brothers Television. Greenlighting our show was not a no-brainer, and we received nothing but support from the studio. The West Wing had no political agenda. We were trying to do a good show every week. But the greatest delivery system ever invented for an idea is a story. And once in a while, we'll hear from someone who was inspired to go into public service because of our show. And that's something that 25 years ago this week, none of us could have foreseen or even dared to hope for. The show was idealistic, aspirational, and romantic. Over the years, I've noticed that during times of peak political tension, pundits will warn us not to expect a West Wing moment. They mean not to expect a selfless act of statesmanship, not to expect anyone to put country first, don't expect anyone to swing for the fences or reach for the stars. But the fact is, West Wing moments do happen, and Dr. Biden, we saw proof of that on the morning of July 21st. That was the kind of thing we tell stories about. This is a great honor for Tommy and for me and for all of us, and we'll never forget it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.